Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Visual Basic tutorial to help you get that A in your exam. And today we're here with how to use multiple classes in Visual Basic. So, I'm just going to quickly give you a couple of definitions. Firstly, a class is a blueprint in which we can use to create objects. And an object is an instance or a single occurrence of a class. And a subroutine or method is a sequence of program instructions that perform a specific task and can be called from any point in the program. We have two types of me methods. We have procedures and functions. Procedures don't return a value to whatever the procedure is called, while a function will return a value to whatever the function is called. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go into actually how we use mul multiple classes. So firstly, we need to create a class. To create a new class, you need to go over here, right click, add, new item, and you pick class. And down in this little box here, we can give it a name. So we're gonna call it class two, because why not? This is for demonstration purposes, we don't need to give it a cool name. And obviously we got a little bit of code here. So I'm gonna create a couple of, um, couple of methods in here. So we go sub, print text by val input as string and console dot write line input so what does this subroutine do basically we pass in a string and we basically output it to the screen it's nothing complicated. I just want to prove a point by doing this. Now we're going to create a function. So we're going to do function add numbers by val num1 as integer by val num2 as integer and as integer. So, and we want to do a return num1 plus num2. So what is this function doing? It's called add numbers. We're going to be taking in two integers. We got num1 and num2. And they're both by value. So we don't actually interact with the numbers or variables we input into here. We're just going to interact with the value of the variables that we pass into here. And we're going to assign the values to num1 and num2. But you should know this by now. So we have two functions in class two, which is pretty good. Now, we want to be able to access them from, from this main class called program.vb. And how do we go about doing that? Well, what we need to do is we need to use construct the method and create an instance of class 2 to access the methods. This is called an object. So, to access the methods in class 2, we have to create an instance of the class 2 class. So, what do we do? We create an object. So let's create an object. So I'll do dim, no, dim object one as new class two. So what does this code actually do? So dim is declaring memory, like with um, setting up a variable. Object one is what the name of this object's going to be called. So we put we we can call it whatever we want within reason. As new, this is exactly like with variable declaration. And instead of putting a variable type, we just put the class that we want to create an object for. So we are declaring in memory a new object, and it's a new instance of class 2, or whatever class we are creating the instance of. So now, we've created a class. That's all good. But how do we actually call these methods and get the values from them? Or run the code from them. What do we do? And I'm going to give you a little example. Let's say there's a guy called Jim and he has loads of cookies and I want to get cookies from him. What, 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 what could I say to get the cookies from him? Well, I probably have to ask him, right, could I have some cookies, please? So asking for the cookies could be a method. I'll probably want to know how many cookies I want and I have to provide that information to him so he can give me the correct amount of cookies so I don't become fat or don't become hungry. So the parameter would be uh, the amount of cookies I want. Um, in terms of a return value, I would get some cookies depending on how many I asked for and how many he's willing to give to me. 
But this is all good. However, how does Jim know I'm asking him for the cookies? So we're going to assume he has, there's no common sense in this world because I'm pretty sure if I'm asking for cookies, the, the guy holding the cookies would probably think I'm talking to him. But let's forget that's a thing. We'd have to say Jim before we, we ask him for how many cookies we want. It's exactly the same logic in uh, encoding. Before we can use a method in the class, we have to put the class before the method. So we call the method as normal, but before we do that, we put the name of the class and a dot. So in this example, we'd say, I'd be like, Jim, can I have five cookies, please? And then I get, I, then I get returned five cookies because Jim is a top lad. So that's a really weird example, but I hope it actually works in explaining why we need to, um, and how we, we actually call a method from a different class. So let's do that. So what do we want to do? We want to, we want to call the print text method we made. So we want to do object one dot print text. Then we need to put in a string here. So I'm going to put, I am gay. Ah, oh, no. I'm coming out the closet for you guys. And I need to actually call the method name properly. Uh, now I want to call my other method, which is to add two numbers. However, I'm going to be creative here. I'm going to demonstrate to you how we can call a method <laughs> and use that method as a parameter. So I'm going to do the print text method again. So I'm going to copy and paste this to save time. I'm going to get rid of the I am gay um, string I'm passing in. And I'm going to put this. Object 1 dot add numbers 1 and 2. So let's quickly analyze this code more. We have our print text method. And the, the end brackets here and the first bracket are the brackets for that. Inside, we are calling our add numbers method. And we're going to pass in the values of 1 and 2 as discussed before. We pass in two numbers and we return the added value. We are calling the add numbers method by referencing the object that it's part of, which is uh, object 1. And obviously, we are calling the add numbers method. Then we're passing in a 1 and a 2. We have a bracket here and a bracket here. Those are the brackets of the parameters. And that's all. Now I'll do console.readLine. So back to this again. Basically, this will return the, the sum of the two numbers we passed in to have this method is called. So this, ob this object.printText will just print a number depending on what this method returns. In this case, it will be free. So let's call the method. As you can see, it says I am gay. Then it says number three. Three is the sum of one and two. Therefore, it works. I am gay because I am very happy. Nothing against gays, by the way, guys, before you accuse me of that. I just want to put that there because I know someone in the audience will get triggered by it. And I just want to trigger him. So anyway, guys, that's all for this tutorial. As you can see, this works. So basically, we create a new class, shove some methods in there. And to access those methods, we just ref we create an instance of the class, like declaring a new variable. Then to access those methods, we just put the name of the class, then a dot, then we do what we would normally do. So anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience, and I will see you next time. Adios.